Well, the clock is ticking for our next paranormal investigation, but the question is, are you scared of the dark? Yes, we're here in the heart of Darlington, so join us as we go Bump in the Night. Yes, well, we are going to be looking at the Victorian market here in the centre of Darlington. But actually, where we are right now is in the clock tower in the face. This is incredible. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I've passed it loads of times. I've always wanted it to come up here. It's quite spacious, isn't it? Very spacious. I could make a nice little parlour for myself here. Think? But there's meant to be lots of ghosts that we hopefully will discover tonight. So tell me about them, because you've been doing some research. Yeah, well, there's, there's, a, there's a couple, apparently, more of the well-known ones in the market now some unlucky fella many moons ago was actually killed uh, down sort of in the cellar in the basement when a bull fell through the ceiling <laughs> above him as you top, do and of course he didn't live to tell the tale then there's also apparently a white lady that's seen and spotted roaming around the corridors and the stairwells and then the women's toilets as well so well I'm not going to be going in there well I know but well, I'm, I'm going to need it in a few there. minutes so mm. lots and lots of activity but if you don't know this location here's a bit of history the first direct mention of Darlington as a market town was between 1003 and 1016 AD when King Ethelred ruled England. Up until the 19th century, the market was governed by a bailiff appointed by the Bishop of Durham, but in 1854, the local authority purchased the market outright. The open market was a thriving area of commerce, However, it was decided that the time had come for a covered market as a more hygienic way to display foodstuffs. The central focus of the new building was the magnificent clock tower. However, many people couldn't tell the time from it as the dial was coloured and it had gilt hands. After consultation, they were replaced with the white glass and black hands we see today. Today, it's still as vibrant and busy as ever and it's home to our next paranormal investigation. Well, with tales spanning back over 150 years, I think it's about time that we bring in the team. Terry, we've uh, we've just let you set up your kit now, and you've been doing it both in the market and then downstairs, sort of in the basement and the cellar as well. But when you and the guys first arrived, what what are your initial reactions and feeling of this location? Well, I've never been here before. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we came here a little earlier, and it was the market was open, and I thought, well, I don't even know if it's, it's haunted or not. I didn't really couldn't find too much about it, but. After getting here and talking to a couple of people that have been here a lot, a lot of years, some stories have come about. Well, there are a few hot spots, like I say here, and uh, down below as well. And bear in mind, just to get down there, the lift itself, I have uh, some nervous and anxious moments just getting in that. So I guess it's time for the sun to set and to go dark and start the investigation. <laughs> right, so we are in the cellar. Yeah. Or is it the basement? The basement, the cellar. Basement. Well, this is where someone was killed with a bull that came from. Oh, <laughs> everything's creaking. Uh, that fell through the ceiling. So a bull just fell through the ceiling. Yep, a bull fell through the ceiling, as it does in the oldie worldie days. <laughs> Um, and then Terry, you were telling me of a, the lady who hung herself. That's right. When this used to be cellars, or she was in the she was in the for Cells. committing a crime. So yeah. what's the story? Uh, well, the story that we've heard is that, but where we are now is right beneath the old town hall, and that back in the day they would do the um, the verdicts for any crimes that they'd done. And the woman was 
uh, going to be hung for the crime that she had done, done what the crime was, but she was going to be hung. Before they actually got her over to the other side of the grounds where the banks are now, she actually hung herself in the cells right down here. Oh, oh. Do you know? Did you know Buddy just like die in their sleep and come back, you know, for some radish or something? You're after a pleasant story. That doesn't happen in the movies. No, does there's it? always like people being attacked by bulls in the middle of Darlington. <laughs> It, it, it has got a cell-like feel, hasn't it, down here? You know, it's, it's a, all these iron gates and whatnot. It doesn't feel like the friendly market that we've seen upstairs. And it's freezing cold. You've got a, a handful of equipment there. What have we got? Um, well, we're going to use a K2 meter. I'm going to see if anybody can come near to us. If they do, right. this will, will light up. <laughs> if it does, I'll be running away, I'll assure you that. <laughs> you want to spend a penny again? <laughs> I'm just nervous. Are you? We'll also be using, uh, we'll, re we'll place the REM pod down right, the so bottom. What's the REM pod? REM pod is um, a little device where if anybody will come near it, there's four lights on it and an alarm that will go off, you'll hear it audio. But you have to be very near to this object. The nearer you go to the area, it'll activate. The more it's it's disco? Yeah. Well, the ghost will be having a right party. There is a, a, a torch, a motion detecting torch of uh, light that we can put down. Right, okay. If you yeah, want to place that. that down, we can put that. That's got to go off now because it's. Seen the movement, so I've got to place that down there. And what does that do, Terry? Uh, that will go out in, a, in a about 10 seconds, and then what will happen is that won't come on and th until it's really dark. If it was light, it, would, it wouldn't come on anyway. Right. But with it being dark, it will activate. And again, you have to be, it has to s s sense the motion. Movement. So that's going to go off? That will go off so if we'll there's just any movement. Stay, yeah, if we'll not a, get close to it. So we, it's like a disco, isn't it? Oh. If, or what? And I just this just started to light up a little bit. What away. did? What started to light up? The, I can't move. move. The K two meter that I've got in my hand here. Yes, yes. The lights just went up slightly there. If there's anybody here, come towards us and try and turn the light on. Oh, if this happens, I'm going to scream. Don't particularly want any bulls. <laughs> Talkie box. Turn on the talkie box. The, that's the. Oh. No, no, that's the the what was that? It's gonna be the of me down here. It's just really weird as well because when you both jump, <laughs> when you both jump. <laughs> It actually made this light up more, so I don't know whether you've actually given it a spoon. <laughs> with a cooked meat there. <laughs> Thought the bullet <laughs> come. Oh, my God. It's getting some... <laughs> <sighs> but hang on, what was that noise? I just turned off. No, not that no, noise. No, there was, there was, there was, a, there was a noise down there. That's why we all looked. Oh. When you both jumped there, that actually just went <laughs> quiet. It's as if... There was oh, a spirit energy was what? like spooked out about it. Oh, yeah. God! Yeah. Look, yeah. look, it's going, it's going. <gasps> oh, Peter, uh, I don't like this at all. If. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Are you getting anything on your sound machine? Right, turn, it on. Okay. turn it on so we know now. <gasps> that light's just gone. Oh, the mother's on! That light has just gone on. Nobody's moved. <gasps> Why would it come on? Is there any spirit energy that's in this corridor? That's so <laughs> yeah. Have a little walk around. I just sort of like have a little pace around here because it sounds busy, but we need to have a little explore. Yeah. Yeah. With this on? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'd keep that going, I suppose, yeah. Oh, I don't get a good <laughs> feeling down here, you know. <laughs> Why does that sound like it's a... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, 
There's the airport. <sighs> Spirit, do you think we should have a cup of tea and stop it, you? And have a break for a couple of minutes because yeah. when we come back, lady. Me and you are going to do individual night investigations. No. Nope. You're going to go upstairs, nope. have a little roam around the market, shopping. No. Nope. You like that. It's not happening. And I'm going to go into the clock tower, yeah? No, I can't. On our own, with a torch, with a camera, we'll see if we can find anything. No, I can't do it. You are such a scaredy I can't cat, do now. it. Such a scaredy cat. Oh, <gasps> what's <laughs> Way, Mel, round here. Yeah, this is. Look at all of this. Oh. It's a bit spooky, isn't it? <laughs> Welcome back from the break. Now, this is the part, lady, where me and you have got to do our own investigation. I'm not. No, I. <laughs> seriously, downstairs there was so much. I'm on edge. I am on edge. I can't do this on my own. Well, look, you've got loads of friends here to look after you, so you'll be fine. So you're going to stay here. I'm going to go over the road to the clock tower. I've got to go up step ladders and everything in the dark. What do I tell you I don't ever want to see faces? What's all this? They're faces. your friends. They Just think of Snow White. She had animals that came and helped you, so just oh. sing to them. Yeah, but Peter... This... Whistle while you... <laughs> you'll be fine, right? Oh. You've got to survive here on your own. I've got to go over to the clock tower. Let's see who grabs a ghost first. Ooh, I'm running out. <laughs> I'm, I'm off. Oh, God. These stalls are over 100 years old. I mean... There's Jesus, just there. What's he doing? Here we are, in the clock tower. Look at that. All the way up there, that's where we're going to be walking. One of the oldest parts of Darlow. It's a big landmark. The clock tower. Not many people get access. <laughs> Not many people come in it late at night with a torch. <sighs> Mel would hate this because she hates spiders. Absolutely loathes them. Let's hope there's oxygen at the front because I don't think the cameraman's going to make it. <laughs> and then next year we'll come back and there'll be a haunted cameraman Collapsed on a staircase going, I used to work in telly, dear. <laughs> oh, great. It just... Oh, it's spooky. There's a lot of things that are making noises. There's a lot that can be playing... Your mind can be playing tricks. Everywhere you look, you feel like you've seen something or something's looking back. Oh, of course. It's very eerie. Like, really eerie. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Right. Oh, ow. What? <laughs> Watch your heads. Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. Careful not to bang the head. Apparently these are like seven ton. <sighs> What's your head, they say? Oh. I hope you're not zooming in on my bum. Now, Peter has gone into the clock tower, but <gasps> you're <laughs> crazy. Oh my God. But at least that has light. This is just... I keep 
having something down there. More steps. The mad thing is, when we come to show you this, it'll take two seconds. It's taken nearly ten minutes. But wow. Wow. Oh. So here we are in the clock tower, in the clock face. People don't get access like this, certainly not at night like we have. Deathly silence, there can't be any noise. If there's any noise in this building, it's me and it's the cameraman. So, I'm gonna grab a seat and then uh, we're gonna let time do its thing. Come on, come on, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, come on, I'm going. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no don't do oh that to me, God. you fool. <sighs> How I was your night I, investigation? I'm, I'm literally, the bell got me and then there was just too many noises, too much going on, and I was absolutely terrified. Yeah. I don't like it. I was it in, in the bell. I was literally there. <laughs> and all my sound went. It was the most freakiest thing. Not just walking up the stairs, spiders. I oh. would have hated it. Can well. I tell you what? It's been, it's been a bit weird tonight, hasn't it? I just haven't. I, because it's so big in here, you don't know where to look. And because I'm already scared, because when we were downstairs, I felt like every minute there was something else uh, spooking us. So when, when we were up here, everywhere I looked up, I looked down, I looked left, I looked right. <laughs> it's all right, it's the guys wrapping up, because now we've got to get back to Paranormal HQ. Yeah, I think it's time to leave here. Yeah. Let's have a little look at what we caught and what we didn't. <laughs> Well, we've arrived back at Paranormal HQ. Now, Terry, tell us, walk us through some of the hot evidence that we've come across tonight. Well, as you know, we went into the uh, basements of the market itself and down the two corridors that are under there where the cells are. <laughs> and we placed um, a motion detector torch down there. And this is one in one of the corridors where a ox or a bull had fallen through, killing, killing a gentleman now. As you do, <laughs> as, it, as yeah. always happens in, in, world in cells, yes. Mm -hmm. So this light that we popped down there doesn't go off unless somebody or something walks by it. Yeah, and did it go detected. off? Yes, it did, it did go off. I know, we were it all scared me. <laughs> we were all seen still, it. There was nobody near to it and there was no other reason, no explanation for why it would have gone off unless it picks up movement. Well, the cameras picked that up, didn't they? Because we were all one group. There was nobody else there. And it just it just lit up, it went off. And there, there was no explanation as to how that could have happened. We weren't close enough for it to go off. So what was making that go off? We don't know. Can I ask one thing? That when we've done these activities, we always either seem to have things thrown at us mm. or, or you hear noises. Is, is that normal? Why do they always throw something at us? Are they just being mischievous or do they, do they just want to let us know that they're there? It's probably a bit of both, but uh, the reason why I would assume that they were throwing things at you is to actually let you know, um, to get your attention, to let you know you're there. <laughs> um, the other thing that I we did notice is just before you decided to go to the break, you said, you come on, lady, should we go for a break? Mm -hmm. uh, there was a orb which actually comes out from the left shoulder and you can see it going down very, very clearly. And for those who don't know, what is an orb? It's a, a manifestation of a spirit energy that's trying to form. And that just appeared out of your shoulder yeah. and down? Yeah. I'm keeping away from <sighs> his shoulder. I was going to say. So, what are your thoughts on Darlington? Some place that you'd like to go back or do you think you can say yes or no? Well, I would definitely say there was something going on under there. There had been reports also of the woman in white that was seen who hung herself, who had been sentenced to be hung. Now, we went off and did our vigil down outside there and we were getting a lot of um, activity on the REM pod, the K2 meter. Even the obelisk had said any when we had actually said, could you come to one of the devices? So, you know. 
You know, they never nice tales of it as to why. Mel, passed. what did you think? Well, Darlington really spooked me out. Not just in the basement. There was loads of noises going uh, down and that the clock at... tower. Whew, walking they... up those staircases mind... was scary enough. Never mind the clock tower. Walking on my own through that market, there were so many corners and hidden cubby holes and random taps left on, and not to mention all of the faces. Who would want to go into a market at night time? I don't know. This, it, it spooked me out well and truly. The scariest thing, Mel, having the cameraman's backside in my face as I climbed up the uh, clock tower. <laughs> now, that was supernatural. <laughs> so how should we conclude this, then? Is this an ongoing investigation, or is this Oh, haunted. Closed? Everything's haunted now. Haunted. It's convinced. I always feel